Oh hey, it's Bingley. And today I'm heading off again. This time I'm heading to the Far East. I'm taking a red eye flight to my favourite city in the world, Hong Kong. Here I am at Heathrow Terminal 5. I'm gonna go in in a minute, dump my bags. I'm flying out of here today with British Airways. They've dumped me right in the back with all the riffraff. I'm right in the middle, so I'm gonna ask you to see if I can get a little cheeky upgrade. Don't know if they'll let me, but you know, there's no harm in asking. I'm testing out a new camera today. I bought myself a little DJ Osmo and I've got, got a little microphone here, so let's see how, uh, let's see how we get on. So I've got my uh, microphone there. I don't know whether you can hear me, but uh, let's head inside. Bloody, bloody airplanes at this airport. Okay, so just asked for the upgrade to go to business class was an extra 1,200 and something pound. It's a bit pricey for me, so uh, I'm going to skip it this time. I'll go in the back with all the riffraff. Down in uh, in HK town, that's that's what the locals call it. HK, I'm down with the locals. Anyway, just got here. It's a bit hot. It's a bit humid. Very hazy out there, but flight was okay. It, it felt pretty long, but I'm here now. I made it. I'm excited. I'm gonna go see if they let me through customs. Don't know whether whether news of my scooting ability has made it here to uh, to the far east or not. I bet it has. It is legendary. So I made it to my hotel, I'm staying on Hong Kong Island. I'm staying in the Best Western, like it's, it was like cheap ish to stay here um which is fine i'm only here for two nights it's uh, it's not bad though like it's, it's fairly decent size got like a big bed and you know little li little living room area but yeah i'm up on the on the 27th floor let me let me show you 27th floor jesus don't look down very misty out there anyway, yeah so i'm gonna jump in the shower i'll wash all that plain grime and all the other grime that i produce during the day i'm gonna get rid of all of that and, uh, and then head out, see, see what we can get up to. Let me come here and, and make a bit of use of my, of my little desk here. So, shower is done, all complete, feeling fresh, got all that grime and shit and horrible stuff off of me. Now I'm gonna jump on a train and I'm gonna go down to that place where they have the light show where you can look across the wall, oh, it looks very nice. Gotta do it when I'm here. I haven't got long though because it's only about an hour so I need to get moving. One thing though is that to get on the train here they use this thing called uh, an octopus card which is like which is like the oyster card basically but you can use it for a lot more things so i still have see that octopus i still have my octopus card from i think the last time i was here was like 2016 now i wonder if it still works we're gonna go and have a look to see if it does and see maybe it's got some money on it maybe i've earned interest on it maybe i'm a, a hong kong millionaire and i didn't even know it but yeah we're gonna gonna Go out now and hit the light show and then maybe get some tea. to the, uh, the cultural centre. Uh, this is where you stand and you look out across the water, you look at all the buildings. They do like a light show here every night at 8 p.m. So I thought I'd yeah, come check it out. It's a touristy thing to do. I think I've done it every time I've been here. Maybe they might have something new. I mean, 
it's not a bad view, is it? Even though it's a bit, it's a bit misty low out there. That ain't bad, is it? That's that's pretty sick. Now I don't know if it was because I've seen it so many times or because it's really like cloudy, misty out. Um, it was a bit underwhelming the show. I don't know. I can't remember if it's the same show or maybe they mixed it up a little bit. But yeah, it's a bit underwhelming. I'd say if you've never seen it before, come and check it out. Uh, if you have seen it, maybe give it a miss. But it's fun. Yeah, can I go jump on the ferry? Can I head to Central? Uh, need to find somewhere to eat. I am absolutely marvelling. There's McDonald's out there. I might have McDonald's. It's a mad dash. Now, I have been on this ferry before. It's pretty rocky. I've been a bit seasick already. Try not to be sick. <sighs> right, that's it. I think I'm going to call it quits for today. Uh, back at my hotel room now. Had a really long day, a lot of travelling. Didn't really sleep at all because I, I can't sleep sitting up on an aeroplane, red eye flight. It was, yeah, couldn't couldn't sleep. So I've been up for a very very long time. But we got here, checked in, saw the light show, went on the Starline ferry, a little moose bag, got a bit of Mackey D's. But yeah, I've, I think it's been pretty successful so far. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna get me head down there and then uh, wake up nice and early for the start tomorrow. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm open to suggestions. Good morning. So, we're here on a full day here in Hong Kong. Uh, started off today a little bit slower than I, I would have liked. I, um, I woke up at like 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, wide awake, couldn't go back to sleep. Then eventually I did fall asleep. I woke up a bit later than I, I wanted to, but hotel's good, bed's a bit hard. But now I'm on my way to do the thing that I love to do in every place I go. I'm gonna go on a food tour. So I'm just gonna head to the train station now, see if my Oxford card does work. And yeah, head to, I, think, I can't even think of what right, the place is called. Shun something, maybe? I don't know. But let's go. This is where I'm going to try and uh, kill the oyster card, octopus card again. Let's see if it works. Let's have a look. It does work on here. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh man. It don't work. That's weird. So it does work on like some train stations. Another train station doesn't work. So I am off to Tin, tin Hao. Had some brisket noodles at Sister Wars. Very nice, Michelin star place. Um, so it's a good start to the food tour. Just been burping up some of that brisket noodle. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I regurgitate like a mummy bird, and uh, and I eat it again. I don't know whether that's normal or not, but I get a second tasting, third tasting even. Had some roasted goose at uh, Guy's Roasted Goose. It was alright, decent. Bones in it though, it was weird. There's a lot of live chickens in this market. This is like where, uh, this is where COVID started, isn't it? The wet market.
this place is a bit hot. It's hot, yeah. Boys, it's hot. I'm going to be cold. Right now. So we finished up with the, uh, the food tour. It was actually really good. I think the highlight of the day was the first one, which was the uh, brisket noodles. That was, that was the best one. Dim sum was good, had that before. Trying to cut the other bits. It's good, it's a good time. Our tour guide Sandy, really knowledgeable. Asked her loads of questions, like lots of tips for things. So if you do come here, give it a go. It was, I think it cost me like 80, 87 pound, I think. I wanna say 87 pound. Um, but it did go on for quite a while. It was like three and a half, four hours long. Little bits in it, she took us to like a, a, a market and I weren't that bothered about looking at vegetables, but now the food was good, everything else was good, I'd rate it. So yeah, if you're here, give it a go. Now I'm gonna go look at something special, some escalators, but not just any old escalators. So it would not be a trip to Hong Kong without going on the world's longest indoor-outdoor series of escalators, I think it is. Can't come here without doing it. Brilliant. Whoa, slow down. It's going too fast, too fast. What a wild ride. And there we go. We rode it all the way from the bottom to the top, baby. Wild ride, non-stop adrenaline rush. Escalator fun. Now I don't know what to do. So I've done the done the old escalators. I've done the food tour. Um, I did a couple of things last night. So I've done pretty much most stuff here in Hong Kong. But I just like being here. It's just a it's a cool place to be. I am walking in the direction of the peak, but I don't want to get in the tram because normally like it's absolutely ramo to get on it. Do I walk up to the peak? What else am I doing with my, with my day? Not a lot, really. So, it's an option. But do I want to get that sweaty? Don't know. I think I'm walking into a school, um, which might not be right. Seems a bit, a bit weird. That is definitely a school. Am I walking into it? Pajan. Pajan. Okay, so I was walking that way, so f it, I'll give it a go. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna walk out the peak. I haven't even got to the road yet. I'm absolutely shattered. This is a terrible idea. It's hot, humid, sweating my f off, and I've got no water. There's no turning back now. So look, it's not that far at all. I should go up there to there. But it's very steep. Bloody 30 minute walk. Let's say, let's check the time now, actually. Let's go, let's see if it is 30. So the time now, 15.48. I could do this in under half hour, I reckon. God help me. Oh, he's kicking my ass already. Barely up, it is, it is some incline here. Oh, I think I should have got the tram. It's a nice enough walk though, look. Plenty of nature. I'm just sweating my ass off. Time check. It is 16.01. I think we're still on course. We're gonna make it. I think I've been bitten alive though, amongst all these trees and that. I didn't think mosquitoes were a thing here. I thought they killed them. But yeah, I think I've been done. But you know what? I won't let that stop me. I'm on a mission. I'm gonna make it to the top. Couple of mosquito bites. It's gonna take more of that to stop me. Maybe one more and I'll, I'll pack it in, but, but right now I'm going. My middle name's Danger. Ashley Danger David. I'll tell you what, I don't know what I'm gonna do going back down. I was contemplating getting the tram or the, or the bus, but 
I am sweating. I'm going to be humming. I don't really want to stand next to people. And I'm sure they don't want me standing next to them either. I'm going to stink. Wow, that's cool. Okay, we made it at Victoria Peak. I stopped a couple of times, but let's do a time check. 16.14, made it here with four minutes to spare. Like I said, I did stop a couple of times, but I've done it. I'm the fittest in the world. Oh, as you can see behind me, it's not very nice up here. We're up in the clouds, so I can feel the moisture. So I don't think the view's gonna be great. And let's go check out the stunning views. See what it's like. Wow, awe-inspiring, I'd say, awe-inspiring. Not really worth it, was it? <laughs> I think I've earned myself a drink, though. No. Let's have a look around. Um, there's, there's restaurants and stuff up here. There might be a little little pub or bar or something. Get myself a little celebratory beer. So we've done the peak, views weren't great, um, but what can you do? Can't control the weather. I had a little coffee, a little sit down, uh, refuel, I'm buzzing now, I'm ready to go. I decided I'm not gonna get the tram. I'm not gonna be weak. I'm gonna walk down. I walked up, I can walk down. Hopefully not get rained on. And uh, we'll see what we can get up to after that. Coming down here, this incline, it's pretty steep, you know? And it's a little bit wet, so is it? It's quite, it could be dangerous. Now, first the escalators, now this. An adrenaline junkie. Okay, so I just had a few well-deserved beers in LFK. Um, it's pretty nice, had a nice little chilled session. I was gonna go back to my hotel, but I've got a taste for it now. So, I just went in here, penicillin, Right there, inconspicuous, such a good place to go. Bartenders were fantastic. Honestly, you come to Hong Kong, you want a cocktail, you want a good cocktail, this is the place to go. So there we go. I've um, I've been out, I've been to Long Kwai Fong. I've had a few drinks, I've had a few cocktails. The cocktails were good, people were accommodating, it's been great. But now, now's the good, now's the interesting part. I need to get back to my hotel. Now, do I get the train and walk, which is quite long? Or do, do I f up and get the tram, which is slow and old, but it's authentic. I think I might go authentic. Let's have a look. You'll get to see the next one now. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do it, you know. I'm going to get the tram. I don't know how, to, how much to pay, I don't, I don't know, how, I don't know the score, I don't know. Mate, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going. Is it over there? idea if that's okay. Let's put some money in the thing. If that's the right change. The woman just says, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Well, there you go. I just got a, a tram to uh, close to where I'm based. Just get money, that's what they say. 
I don't think I'm actually near where I need to be. I think I'm close, but not that close. So we're gonna have a little hunt, little Jeremy hunt to where we need to be. Got the microphone. Oh. See? 